Hey, Hard Men, so as you know, on Sunday mornings, we're in Genesis 1 and 2. We're looking at just God's creation, how He created the whole world. He is God. He made us in His image. And so any of that you want to talk about, that's great. But I want us to look at, as a group, Psalm 19. And I want us to walk through it together. So it might be a little different than we normally do our group time. But I want us to open our Bibles during our group and uh, look at Psalm 19 together because it's a really cool psalm that really shows God's glory in the world and God's glory in His Word. So there's that general revelation, which is creation, how He made the world. In, in a general way, He's communicating who He is to us by the things that He's made. And then we see special revelation, which is God's Word. So we're going to see this divide up. If you look at Psalm 19, verses 1 through 6, what we see is that creation, well, first of all, the heavens declare the glory of God. So the heavens are preaching to us God's glory. We see that um, that day by day there is speech that's being poured out on who God is just by all the things we see. So I want you as a group to think about specific ways creation testifies of its creator and how the world around us as we go about our days, we look out um, just at nature, how that tells us there is a creator and what it tells us about our creator. And then we see this shift in verses 7 through 14. We see that God communicates more clearly um, and better through his word. So the world tells us who God is, but his word specifically tells us who he is and how we can know him. So that's going to be the word of God. So I want you to walk through that and talk about how does the word of God tell us about God? How does the word of God, um, why should we love it? Why is it like honey? Why is it like gold or better than gold? So talk about God's word and God's world. And then I want us to settle into verses 12 through 14. It's kind of this application as we're men who um, see the world that's telling us about God and that sees the word that tells us about God. How is that going to keep us uh, from sin? And how is that going to help us to have a heart and a mouth that meditates on God? So just a lot of discussion this morning. Uh, look at Psalm 19. How does the word speak of God? How does the word speak of God? And how can all that knowledge keep us from sin and keep us walking with the Lord? So Psalm 19, it's a psalm all about God's creation and God's word. Let's have fun talking together as guys and see about how this week we can look at God's world and God's word and remember who God is and chase after him.